Grace Missionary Church. Um, I'm always from Namibia. Mm -hmm. My name is Claudia Tsarais. Mm -hmm. This one next to me is my husband. And the problem who did force me to come here is the marriage problem. What is really happening in your marriage? A misunderstanding, lack of um, trust, mm -hmm. communication problems was there. We wanted to divorce. Most of the time we said, let us go to divorce. I was telling my husband, I don't want you no more. I'm going to divorce you. And he was also telling me, I'm going to divorce you. Um, it was frustrated me. And sometimes I want to stay in Windhoek. I don't want to be together with my husband because it was disturbing me spiritually. I couldn't have um, uh, expressed my feelings myself in, in the church as a spiritual lady, the pastor's wife. This was my hindering because it was let me feel we are the disobedience of the Holy Spirit and disobedience of Jesus Christ. And I was feeling it doesn't help to stay with this husband of mine because he's interrupting me always, despite me. So later on, I get that desire to maybe go to the man of God to look for a help prayer. I tried myself through the internet for the prayer request. Uh, I tried once, but there was no access for me to meet him. Then after all, I was praying only. I entrusted my card, praying, fasting on my own. Later, I come back to my husband. And later, he, went, he joined me also in fasting and prayer. After all, and he was watching always the YouTube of uh, a prophet, um, Apostle uh, Maganinisa, and he told me, my wife, do you know this man? Then I said, I don't know him. Mm -hmm. So he told me, come and watch this uh, video here. Then I start watching that video. It's how I know him through the YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I, I, after all, we have decided as a wife and a husband to come and see him for the problem solving in prayers. Thank you. Uh, Say, so as your wife has already told us, the main reason that made you to come here together, um, by the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session. How was the experience? And you met him on his birthday, I believe it's grace on its own. How was the experience? What did he say to you regarding the problems that you're facing in your marriage as a minister of God? Thank you. My name is uh, Pastor Julius Charaib. I'm coming from Namibia. As my wife was, as I was saying, uh, we were having problems. And I understand after the man of God talked to me, it was a spiritual attack uh, from my birth. Uh, the God uh, uh, wants me to save him from my, de from my tender age when I was a child. And it, it was always my desire to serve the Lord, singing, and it was in my heart always. And, and that's why I repent when I was uh, in, in school in the grade 10, yeah, when I was 18 years old. So now, uh, from that time, there was a lot of attacks because my, 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 my parents took me to the spiritualist and she gave me something to put on and something to, to put in the nose and she cut me yeah, with, with things and these things were, were fighting with me all the years. So now that's the problem. We, uh, we brought us here so that we could uh, get a prayer so that we can be released from all the spirits. He, he, the experience was great because he, he told he, he told me uh, all the things I know from my from my from my tender age from my young younger age. 
days and and it was a good experience and uh, it told us also what is happening in us or only things we only are known uh, in, in us between so now it was a it was a great good experience it was yeah. Exposed yeah 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 family. yeah uh, and also from my family side also all the secrets has been exposed Hallelujah. yeah thank you okay. <laughs> and how are you feeling right now ma'am after the prayer I feel very happy and I feel to come back again. In my spirit, this whole day, I have that feeling that I must make a turn again here. And I wanted to connect with the men, uh, men of God, really. And wherever his prince will be held in Namibia, I will submit me also be a part there to visit his uh, brand. Hallelujah. All the things that have came out today was truth, mm. which was uh, revealed about our families. It was truth. Say, can you say your marriage with your wife has been restored after you have heard the word of wisdom and where the attack is coming from? Can you say you are restored and you are ready to tackle the, 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 the affairs? You are ready to uh, tackle the world with your wife again? Yes, I'm, I'm encouraged and, and I know now uh, we are uh, winners in Christ Jesus because we know where the fight is coming from and we will attack it where it is coming from and we will reroute it from the root uh, in Jesus' name. I'm ready to face the enemy devil that is a liar. And we are the victorians. We are protect, protective uh, servants of God. And we will produce more for God. More people will look for advice, scopes towards us. And we will be also the advisors and integrate them with the Holy Spirit of God and wisdom. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. There are smiles on your faces right now. I believe that God has restored you and you are coming back with a testimony. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay. amen. Okay, amen. <laughs> Charis Missionary Church. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also tell us the problem that you're facing in your life that made you to come here. My name is Joyce Muisaka from Botswana, Celebi Pique Town. Uh, the problem that I was facing is delay in my life, especially with my ministry. I could have started the ministry long back when I was still here. I've known about the calling when I was still young, but because of some issues be at home, I couldn't. So it was a struggle in everything that I do. Now my marriage my family, my church, is it was just stagnant. Everything was just stagnant in one place. And how did it affect you as a servant of God? There was no money. There was struggle in all areas of my life. It was like there was blockage in everything. And I, I was wondering. And sometimes there was a time when I wanted to, before I could start the ministry, the enemy wanted me to commit suicide. And I told, I was still with my spiritual parents, I told them, and they prayed with me, and that thing passed. Hey. And how, today you got the grace to see the man of God on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session. How was it? What did he say to you regarding all these things that you were coming across in your life? Hey, it was the man of God was reading a book. He told me that, do you know that you are supposed to be independent? Do you regret to be independent? I say no. That is the best choice I have taken. Of course, I have grown up in Assemblies of God Church. Then the Lord talked to me that I should take an independent route. And I told my church, but I'm not regretting. 
I'm so happy. It's like everything. Even yesterday, the message of de uh, delay and rejection. I told the Gabo store it was my message. And it was like a healing to me. I'm healed. Today he was like he's sealing the whole thing. I'm so, I'm so happy, my sister. And how are you feeling right now as he prayed for you? Hey, it was like a hammer. You know, I, I told him that I had it f almost four accidents from January up to now. Car accident one, I fell in town. He said they wanted to destroy you. I fell there. Then I told him, well, you know what? As this side of mine, it was like they had two, these two weeks, it has been so painful. Even yesterday, yesterday it was like I was beaten by a hammer. Today, it was wow. He said, go. And he came and brought me. It, it was like I was beaten by a hammer. Go. The whole thing is going here. It's like you can see what is happening, bubbling inside joy in my life. You know, the comfort that I've seen from the man of God is so wow. Words of encouragement that you can give to other people out there is I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you today. The words of encouragement I could give to any servant of God or any child of God, everyone needs deliverance. Everyone should seek for assistance from those who have maybe gone away a long way with the Lord or those who can help. Like now I have come here because I could see that I need help. Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.